Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. I just recorded the Bitcoin video. Um, Ethereum is in a very, very similar situation, maybe a slightly different wave count. The idea here is that we're currently moving up in a wave two of wave C, and the next wave down could take us in a third wave into the 16, well, maybe 1650 region, um, and it could head down lower eventually. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I would expect here at least one more low in the C wave. That could finish everything if we're talking about a WXY structure to the downside. The counter I currently have on the chart would suggest then another wave four and another wave five. But if it is aligned with Bitcoin, one more low would be enough. Okay. Um, but in the very short term, we're currently moving higher here in a corrective fashion. As I said in the previous video, not as clearly corrective as I would like it to be, but we are still sort of corrective and we are currently in resistance below the 1847 level. I did highlight already before that as long as we stay below 1847, I would expect continuation to the downside. Now it's getting close to that level, but that's not a problem. Um, 1847 is not the invalidation point, but it is the level where probabilities shift. I will have to change my opinion and wave count if price breaks above 1871, because this is the invalidation point. At the moment, I'm watching this as a WXY structure to the upside. Within the Y wave, we have an ABC. And it could be that this was the A wave done, B wave done, and we're now moving up in a C wave, which could be nearly finished. And in the previous videos, we looked at relevant retracement areas here. So the next important level is the 1847 level. As I said, I don't want a sustained break above it. If it does it, then we might either have bottomed already, but that would need to prove itself by giving us some additional confirmation or we just simply see a larger bounce to the upside in a B wave, you know, which uh, that might go into the 1940 region. Um, the first evidence that we really have topped here would be a break below the, well, first of all, I guess below the trend line here, this dotted trend line. And then a good evidence would be a break below the B wave low at 1797, followed by a break below the X wave low at 1788. Um, looking at the indicators here, we are now or were already overbought. Yeah, um, maybe no, no, no bearish divergence yet, but we were overbought. So we're pushing already into the overbought range on the one hour chart. Um, we are in resistance. The move up is sort of corrective. So my view is, especially as long as we stay below 1847, which is the level where probabilities shift, that we should head down next. Um, but Again, at the moment as well here, same story as on the Bitcoin chart. There is cur currently, while I record this video, no indication it has topped yet. So this can still push a little higher. And I would pay attention to that trend line for the very, very first signal. Besides that, not much more to add. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.